two degrees. As per scientists, if the temperature of the world rises just by two degrees, we will be in big trouble. This small rise in temperature will change our climate in ways we haven't seen in the last 100,000 years. So why is it that such a crucial change is not being understood by us? Probably because it is too hard for us to understand since the terminology is used by the scientists are too complicated. Two degrees doesn't sound much, right? Can it really have a major impact on us? That is what majority of us think. How can melting icebergs affect a person like me? Well, for that, I want you to imagine that this fridge is our planet. Say it is maintained at minus one degree centigrade. At this temperature, everything remains frozen and well preserved. Now let's increase the temperature by just two degrees. The ice starts to melt. After a short while, water is overflowing and is all over the fridge shelves. If just mere two degrees can cause water to overflow in such a tiny space, imagine the impact the melting icebergs will have on oceans that cover up about 70% of Earth's surface and contain 97% of Earth's water. If the ice keeps melting on like this, it will keep raising the levels of our oceans. This will make many animals go extinct. It is estimated that land that is currently home to 300 million people will flood at least once a year by year 2050. Unless carbon emissions are cut down significantly. Countries like China, Bangladesh, India, Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, Japan and Netherlands would be severely affected. Countries like Maldives, Kiribati, Tuvalu and Solomon Islands might even completely disappear. The factories that we use, all the meat that we eat, all the food that we waste, all the fuel that we burn affects our planet every day. In fact, we are already feeling the consequences of temperature rise in the form of floods, drought, forest fires, severe cyclones and tsunamis. Scientists also believe that some earthquakes can actually be linked to climate change. We are struggling to win our fight for Mother Earth. We definitely are not here to complain but to help since there are small changes that we can make in our lives that will lead to bigger changes in conserving our environment. Eat less meat, waste less food, use energy wisely, use public transport, plant trees, start climate conversations. Lastly, but not the least, it is very dangerous when people say that climate change is a myth. Do not follow that. Remember, at the end of the day, our planet is not a fridge that we can cool down once again. Once we cross the point of no return, we will all wish that we could go back in time and turn the temperature two degrees down.